<laughs> okay. Bye bye. Morning, everyone. Teacher Thomas Thailand here. Today, I wanted to show you around. Uh, I've got some questions about uh, housing availability in my area, so I want to take a uh, little ride around and look at some of the villages. The name of our village is Sri Suk Song. We actually live on the uh, road going through here, so you don't have to come into the gated community. We like that because we don't have any houses across from us and we have a great lake view. Our rent is uh, about $500 a month, 15,000 baht. So that gives you an idea of what these rent for. nice gentleman at the security gate uh, was explaining to me the best he could in English that he needed to uh, take my Thai motorcycle license and hold that and he gave me a slip so that when I come back out the gated community I could pick up my ID he instructed me to go to the sales office here so we can uh, take a look at some of these houses the name of this resort is day we day we home resort it's only three months old so a lot of the houses are still in development you can see it uh, they're very modern two-story kind of a contemporary style the ones on the left here are four bedroom homes and I took a tour of the four bedrooms they didn't have any furniture or anything in them uh, no appliances and even uh, a lot of the plumbing fixtures were not installed yet so I just kind of took out the uh, video of the tour of the four bedroom because then uh, after I took a tour of the four bedroom these sales ladies were nice enough to give me a tour of the three bedroom and so we're approaching the three bedroom right now very nice uh, parking area here see the little golf cart they got parked there I apologize for my camera angle being a little bit too high I should have had it turned down where it was a little bit lower so we get more of the uh, the floor plan but I hope you'll uh, be able to see the house well enough again the reason I wanted to make this video is because a lot of people don't have any idea of the amount of housing that's available here in Thailand and specifically my province of Rayong she's pointing out to me that this is a very high-tech house that has the CTV camera for security it this one the three bedroom is kind of like their model home they have it completely furnished uh, the furniture doesn't come with the house so the price the asking price on this three bedroom model was three million 
400,000 baht. So I asked about the discount and they said, yes, that's possibility. And obviously it's a buyer's market right now after this global pandemic we've been through. And these are all new units and they don't have anyone that lives in this uh, village yet. So I'm sure if you offered a good price, you could you could get it probably around three million. So that's comparable to about 90,000 US dollars. Not bad for a brand new home, three bedroom home. They're showing me the, uh... <laughs> these ladies were so nice. They're showing me the uh, layout and all of the instructions here. It's got a solar roof technology. It's, it's uh, really uh, high tech, very modern. It's got a cooling system and everything. And there I'm looking at the, uh, the layout of the village itself. But yeah, very, very, very nice. Uh, I like the way they've got it decorated with the interior design. So you come in, in the entrance into the living room and then you have the kitchen area. Now this part of the kitchen area is just like uh, the refrigerator and a counter and everything for preparation. And then this is a separate area where you would do your cooking. So the reason Thai houses are designed this way is such a hot country. And by isolating each room, you can decide to keep your air conditioned in the areas where you want them for comfort. And then in an area like this, you would open up the back door. You can see a nice little patio. You could put some patio furniture out here. It's not hot all the time, but this time of year is it's extremely hot. April and May are the two hottest months of the year. So you would open up the back door here and maybe put a fan going out while you're uh, cooking your meals. So this is kind of your hot room part of the kitchen. You have your cabinets and your sink and your and your gas stove and all that so there's a reason that this area of the kitchen kind of like a utility area is separate from the uh, kitchen that would serve directly into the dining area nice wooden cabinets you don't see too many upper cabinets in Thailand those kind of a Western style usually you just have these base cabinets the base cabinets are all concrete cabinets They've got the wooden doors on them, but they're all cement with ceramic tile overlays. So it's kind of a nice setup uh, to be able to cook into a small area and be able to close that off and keep your air conditioned cooled area out here. So here's the bathroom on the downstairs level. It's a nice uh, corner shower, very modern. Like I said, this is all brand new, but I really like the modern design, the light fixtures and and just the way they've got it decorated. So the living room, dining room, and uh, serving kitchen area is one open area. And then you have this door here that goes out to the car park. So you've got an entrance into the house here. You've got the, the another sliding door that goes outside right there. And then you've got the door that goes out to the back of the kitchen. And then the main entrance that we came in. So you basically have four entrance and exit right here on the first level so you can really open all that up uh, you don't get a lot of insects here in thailand so a lot of people open up their houses when it's not in the middle of the hot season and just run fans and uh, let the air flow through so going upstairs here uh, all three bedrooms are upstairs they're directing me to go into the master bedroom first and really like the design and the layout you know because it's a model home and they've got it furnished and decorated, it really shows well. But I like uh, the scheme of the paint color, like the back wall has a little wallpaper and then you have different schemes of paint colors, which really adds some dimension. And then this is uh, extra. You see those little extra stickers. Those are add-ons. And it's just a, a little mirrored wall where you pull open and go into the, to the master bathroom. So here's the... Uh, wardrobe. We don't really have built-in closets here in Thailand, so it's more wardrobes. So again, here's your corner shower, toilet, and vanity. This vanity has a little cabinet, some storage space down below. Small but very convenient. Got a waterhead shower there. So coming back out into the master bedroom, this, oh, this extra part right there that's mirrored 
you know, normally you wouldn't have that. You would just walk into the bathroom and you wouldn't have that separate mirrored sliding door here. But kind of nice, you know, it's it's long and big enough here that you've got a seating area at the end of the bedroom. And uh, you see the mirrored there. So you, you can't really tell where the bathroom's at until you open that sliding door mirror. It's a really smart extra. Got some shelving here and some really, really nice signs, some positive thoughts right there. Love that. These two ladies were just amazing. I tell you, Thai people are, are just so super friendly. And, uh, of course, they're sales agents. They're doing their job. And uh, and then you come out into the hall, and uh, there's your hall bath upstairs. So you have one bath downstairs and two upstairs, one uh, in the master bedroom. And then you have the hall bath here for the other two bedrooms. So it's kind of nice to have that, uh, you know, the bathroom downstairs, even though there's no bedrooms, you do have a full bath downstairs, and then you have two full baths up, so kind of nice. Another waterhead shower, and she's explaining to me, I asked her, where's the hot water heater, because they use the hot water heaters on demand. Well, this house has, uh, it's a smart house. So I'm not too smart. I don't understand how it all works, but all the light fixtures and everything are based off like a remote setting. So even your hot water is smart. Is smart. And this is kind of like designed to be the boys' room. So it's just got a twin bed in here. There'd definitely be room for a double bed. But the twin bed gives you a lot more floor space, and it's got a little desk for a computer there and a small wardrobe here for the clothes. Very, very nice design. And again, I wish my camera angle was tilted down just a little bit more, but I think we can get the gist of it. And again, you can see the the uh, the wallpaper on the back wall and then the two different colors of paint on the side walls. It really adds dimension to the to the room. It's it's not too small of a bedroom. With the twin bed, it's perfect. So if you were using this just as a guest bedroom for when you had a, a single friend over, it, it'd be ideal for that. I'm going to wrap around here to the other bedrooms, basically the same size. This one's more designed for the girls' room. And uh, again, you know, the, the, the way they do the uh, paint designs, the wallpaper on the back wall, you got a white wall here on the windows, and then look at the dark wall on the other side. So it really adds a lot of dimension. You can see the overhead air conditioning units there. Those are very uh, economic and uh, they, they will get your room ice cold. So we don't have central heating and air in Thailand. It's all individual room based. So that's why, uh, you know, even down in the kitchen, you're able to close off areas because you only want to, you know, use your air conditioner for the area that you need it. And this up here is that smart, smart, cool air system too. So it's right here kind of explains some of the cooling system of the house. It's really high tech. Everything's... Uh, high-tech very modern houses just kind of a lovely home you know three bedrooms upstairs and two baths I'd go back downstairs here I love the uh, laminate floors and then you have solid hardwood on the uh, on the stairs the rest of it's all laminate but you know everything solid surface they don't use any carpets in Thailand and uh, but, you know, you think for $90,000, and, you know, this is a nice gated community with 24 hours security and uh, a swimming pool and, uh, you know, a little fitness center. I think I made a mistake about uh, the bathroom downstairs on this three-bedroom. I was confusing that with the four-bedroom. I apologize for that. I don't remember if there was a bath downstairs or not now. <laughs> Anyway, that's a problem with voiceover. If you miss something and you're not sure, then you sound like a real amateur. But either way, uh, you know, for 90000 U.S. dollars for a brand new home, the yards aren't real big. But, you know, when you're thinking about retirement, you're looking for low maintenance anyway, right? There's a little room out there if you've got a dog or whatever and you keep the gate closed. The dog's got enough room to do their business. And, uh, and you, you know, you don't want to cut a lot of grass or you know, mess with a lot of garden. Vegetables and everything are so cheap here in Thailand. So you got a big outdoor area here. Looks like, you know, if you play some badminton or kick around the soccer ball. So they've kept that lot open right there. It's kind of nice. 
So these are all the three bedrooms down here on this end, and then up on the other end were the four bedrooms here on the other side of the sales office. So, yeah, it's a very, very nice uh, gated community. I'm going to go back into the sales office here, and I'm going to get a couple of brochures and stuff from them, and uh, should have a couple of pictures coming up here in regards to the difference between the four bedroom and the three bedroom. You can see the swimming pool there. Nice, nice pool. And then there's a, a small gym area there on the other side of the pool. It's got some brand new nautical equipment. I can't explain to you how extremely quiet this entire village is. I mean, it's very, very quiet. So here you have the, uh, the four bedroom and then there's the three bedroom. Okay. So we're back on the road here and we're going to go to another a village. Uh, right here's a CJ store. It's kind of like a 7-Eleven, a convenience store. Very good coffee. Now pointing out here on the left, you see those style buildings like that? They have the garage door, roller garage door on the bottom, and then uh, a living area upstairs. So a lot of people rent those kind of things. Uh, have a nice little living area upstairs, and then have your business down below. So you could have a shop, a uh, a little restaurant or a clothing shop and and uh, live right above it so that's why I wanted to kind of do a little ride along and chat uh, so you can see some of the stuff that's right outside of these gated communities there's uh, a lot of restaurants Thai restaurants and Western food available in this area this is called uh, Pala Beach area look at this home on the left here now that is one nice home with a lot of land. Very expensive here in Thailand to buy land. I guarantee you that house there you're looking at four to five hundred thousand dollars. Not exaggerating. Very expensive. There's a lot of big money here in the uh, Pala area. Again this is a seaside town so you know real estate in Thailand overall is really expensive. When you get down to these beach areas it's uh, even more so. On the right here is some apartment buildings and you can see they're building another wing of the apartments. One wing is finished and uh, they're building another wing. So, you know, there's a lot of rentals available in addition to looking to buy a home. In that gated community that we just left, those were all for sale. There's no rentals there. Those are all brand new homes and they've got them all for sale. So this next... Uh, gated community we're headed to here is called the palm at pala and you know it's probably on the motorcycle here maybe three minutes from that first gated community that dawi here's one of the schools here on your left and you can see there's construction going on there too they're they're putting up a new school building there's a lot of uh, economic development in Thailand. People talk about the economy being depressed because of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, and that's true, especially in the tourist areas. This is not a tourist area. This area is not dependent on uh, tourist money. It's uh, local Thai people, mostly middle to upper class Thai people, and a lot of uh, long stay expats that live in this area that are retired. So. You know, it, it's booming. Uh, you just everywhere you look, you see some new building going up, some new restaurant going in. Uh, so, you know, there's you read a lot of comments online and see a lot of the different Thailand vloggers that talk about the struggling economy. And I know that's true, especially in a city like Pattaya, which is, you know, I mean, the town is, all the businesses are, you know, so dependent on tourism. It's an international tourist destination so in those areas definitely have the impact of the COVID-19 but in an area like this the economy was already so good so much development so many of these housing communities going in new roads going in everywhere new bypasses motorways I mean there's no sign of slowdown in the economy in an area like this so we're coming up on the palm at Pala Again, these are all in the Pala area, which is, it's close to Pala Beach. All of these are within uh, one or two miles of the beach itself. Was a really nice guy here, and he really liked my 
Kawasaki Vulcan 900 motorcycle. He, he was talking a lot about that. So I asked him, you know, what's the prices on these houses in here? And he said, 2 million baht to 3 million baht. So 2 million baht is right at $60,000. 3 million baht, $90,000. So that'll give you an idea. Uh, he, he didn't have too much English skills, and my tie isn't good enough to really ask uh, specific questions. So the sales office itself wasn't open, but he allowed me to come in and take a little video. Uh, very nice area. This is not a very old area either. And uh, there's a lot of units in here. And I'm thinking that all of these on my left here are probably two bedroom. They might be three bedroom. Most of them have really small yards. That's just kind of the, the thing here in Thailand, especially in the newer gated communities. They take advantage of all the land that they have and build as many units as they can. Now, I'm thinking the 3 million baht houses in this area are the ones with the larger yards. Because you'll see on my way out, there's some that have uh, quite a bit bigger yards than these down here. It's got a little circle drive that goes around. You can see all these little roads that come off to the uh, various uh, housing streets. So we're just going to circle around the uh, clubhouse and swimming pool here. It's a pretty big... Uh, gated community the palms you can see uh, they have a lot of beautiful palms so I'd never driven in here before so this is my first time I'm seeing it at the same time as you are and I'm fixing to go to some live video after I get off the motorcycle here and I'll give you an actual little walk around tour of the swimming pool clubhouse area this is a beautiful area very very quiet again these villages are all off small roads okay guys so here we are at the palm pala the palm pala very nice little uh, gated community here this would be uh the clubhouse fitness center and i'm thinking swimming pool area it says temporarily unavailable why we all know why. I think they're going to give the go-ahead to open up swimming pools soon. Check out what this place got going on. So the man at the gate said 2 million to 3 million baht. <clears throat> I'm assuming 2 million baht's probably a two-bedroom, 3 million baht's probably a three-bedroom. He wasn't a very talkative guy, so I didn't get a lot of information there, and the sales office was was not open. Wow, very nice pool area, huh? So this is the kind of stuff that you can find in Thailand, guys, and I mean, we're just looking at a few of them today in my area. There's so many. Uh, I would have to make a two-hour long video just to show you, you know, a half a dozen of them. Take off your shoes, blah, blah, blah. Let's go up and see if we can get a bird's eye view here. Be nice. Air conditioned seating area down here. Do some uh, Wi Fi usage. Cool off a bit. Nice place. The palm. It doesn't look like any of the yards are very big. That's the thing about these new or newer gated communities. You just basically have enough room to park a couple of cars and, uh, you know, a little bit side yard and stuff like that. But people live in these kind of areas, they want low maintenance. They don't want, they don't want a lot of, uh, of maintenance. Now, wait a minute. We have a swimmer. Saudi cop. So, yeah, beautiful area. Nice breeze when you get up here. So, you want to know what the houses are like? Little models made here. This place is fairly new. I don't think it's very old. Again, I'm not going to put all the links down or anything, but this is the Palm 
Pala, pretty easy to remember if you want to look that up. But two to three million bots, so two million bots like 60 grand, three million bots like 90 grand. It's not, not a lot of money, guys, to live in a community like this. Now there may be, you know, maintenance fees and stuff like that every month, even if you own your house outright. That's usually the case when you get into these gated areas. Pretty big, a lot of units in here. A lot of, a lot of side streets and uh, you can kind of get an idea. One to two car parking, small yard, very low maintenance. Not bad, eh? Air conditioned workout room. So, gives you an idea of another gated community. The Palm at Pala. So close to everything. Literally, all you would need would be a motorcycle. You don't even need a car. If you live here, you could take your motorcycle and, and get everything you needed within a short drive. Go to the beach, go to all the mom and pop stores for groceries at home. Go to numerous restaurants, Western, Thai, everything. So, yeah. Okay, so another gated community bites the dust here from Teacher Thomas Thailand. All right. Blackie so 2. Kawasaki here. Vulcan. Leaving the palms. Nice place, guys. I'm back out on the road. This is called Pala Road. I'm headed north, but if you turned around and went south, you would run in straight into Pala Beach. So that's why we call it Pala Road. It takes you straight to the Pala Beach. And I've got a lot of videos that I've made down at Pala Beach. It's my favorite area. It's about five minutes from our house. So about five minutes from that original gated community that we started at, the Day We Home, where the ladies gave me the tour of the model home. So, you know, you're only five minutes from the beach over there. All of this area that we're, we're driving in is, uh, you know, no more than, you know, five, six square mile area uh, of Pala. Banchang City is, is probably more like 20 square miles, uh, not a big town, but it has different areas, different districts of the city, and this district is Pala, which is named after the Pala Beach. So I'm taking a little back road here, and uh, we're going to go to another gated community, and it's actually a really uh, luxurious community. They've got a a huge golf course there it's called the Eastern Star and uh, we're taking the back way into the Eastern Star and I couldn't really get any video going out the front gate because the GoPro battery died on me but you'll get a good idea of another community Eastern Star if you want to live in an area that's just massively big and it's got its own golf course and swimming pool and restaurants everything you need like within the uh, gated community itself you can see some of these individual homes out on these back roads it's beautiful that's that's kind of what I prefer I mean I've never been a gated community kind of guy although here in Thailand you don't have the restrictions and all the the political nonsense in the gated communities I mean if if you buy a, a lot within one of these gated communities, you can pretty much build whatever you want to build. And uh, you're going to see that as we enter Eastern Star, which is a very luxurious, luxury estate community. But you, know, you could buy one of their lots and, and build the kind of house you want there. It doesn't have, you know, all these weird restrictions where all the houses have got to be the same. So this is the back entrance into Eastern Star. And trust me, this place is huge. We're just going to cover a little bit of it here before the battery runs out. You can see some construction on the left. Somebody's bought some lots and uh, building a house there. This this one house, it looks like it's got a ramp on the back side of it there. I, I'm kind of thinking what's going on there, but uh, I don't really know. Kind of a unique design for sure. But this place is really, really big. It's very well decorated uh, landscape beautiful tropical uh, trees you can see the the trees with the orange flowers that are in bloom it's just the beginning of rainy season here in Thailand very very hot season 
So you have all these trees that flower and throughout the different times of the year, dry season, hot season, rainy season, different stages of trees will begin to flower. So it's no matter what stage you're in, you've always got uh, really beautiful, beautiful landscaping. Uh, so you can see some of the big, huge houses here um, with large lots, right? These are, uh, you know, probably 10 million bots, you know, $300,000 and up style homes in here. Uh, but there's also apartment buildings in here in Eastern Star. So you can, you know, you can live the apartment life. And, and within the Eastern Star uh, community here, there's different gated communities within Eastern Star. One of them's called Hamlet, and then there's Hamlet 2. So it's such a, a big area, and there's a lot of expats that live here, retired people that love to golf, and they have their own beautiful golf course and everything. And you'll see them out walking their dogs on the side of the road here and, and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's a very, very nice area. And again, you're only, uh, you know, less than five minutes to the beach, and uh, multiple restaurants, uh, and you have the big grocery stores and all the mom and pop stores. You can see the little security guards are throughout the throughout the Eastern Star community here. You can see some signs here promoting some of the other things. There were some service departments that they have. So there's a lot of options. Uh, it's not like it's all, you know, millionaires that live in these kind of uh, very fancy gated communities. There's a, there's a you know, there's affordable, middle-class type housing, and then there's the ultimate luxury, lifestyles of the rich and famous. So right before the battery runs out here, I pull into the clubhouse area, and I think we might get a view of the golf course before the battery died here. You can see one of the golf carts headed down in there right now. Yeah, so I was wondering where this might die it's going to die here pretty quick and then we'll go back to the live audio feed to finish up this video if you find this video helpful and uh informative uh, please subscribe to the channel like and share and click the bell we can grow this channel and i uh, can continue to bring thailand to people that are very curious about uh, retirement here or making their second home here in the kingdom of thailand it's a it's a beautiful place all right to guys live. so that's it uh, uh the battery died now. there at the tail end of the tour going through the eastern star park but i hope this uh video helps you understand the uh, housing availability in my area and i don't think it's uncommon in thailand especially when you're down near the beach areas to have uh, the same type of uh, gated communities and from uh, very affordable to more luxurious housing options there's a lot to offer here in thailand uh, some people have misconceptions that it's some kind of a third world country or uh, very poor. I can tell you it's not. It's just not that at all. Uh, Thailand is a very, very highly developed country, as you can see in the videos with the, you know, the smart technology and everything going into the new housing. And uh, there's a lot of big money here, guys. This house that we live in would uh, probably be around $100,000 $100, if, uh, if we chose to buy it haven't come to making that point of a decision yet so haven't really even uh, inquired much but figured we'd rent for a year and get a good feel of everything and then uh, you can see from the video there's a lot of stuff to look at and we only covered a very small portion of it so when a guy gets ready to buy uh, it can be a little overwhelming but uh, you know make a list do price comparison take videos take photos really do your research and, and then compare and make a smart price but almost every one of the listing prices are negotiable right especially with the pandemic now it's a buyer's market for sure so anyway peace and love to everyone teacher thomas thailand home sweet home i hope this video helps you i think it might help someone else please share the video Anybody has ever inquired about uh, relocating to another country from their home country and what's the housing like? Uh, Thailand is a great option. Uh, if you haven't subscribed on already, please crash that uh, red subscribe button down below here and that'll help grow the channel so we can bring more and more content. It's free to watch and you don't have to watch, even if you're a subscriber. But just adding that 
that number two subscriber list really helps the channel grow. I, my goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers, and then at that point, uh, YouTube itself helps promote and uh, and get more and more subscribers from the thousand point, thousand membership point onwards. Okay. All right. Thanks, everyone. Peace and love. Remember, Teacher Thomas Thailand. Signing out.